Ah, uh, okay. All right. So, guys, this is your first question in SPM 2023 and Maths Paper 1. Okay. Uh, soalan pertama. So, guys, what chapter is this? May I know? What form, what topic? Ah, uh, tingkatan berapa, berapa? Yes. This is progression, guys. Your form 4, chapter 5. Okay, bab janjang. All right. So, this question very short. Sangat pendek. Okay, so whenever you see the guys, sorry, you see the word state, guys. Kamu nampak berkata nyatakan. Perlu tak jalan kira? Do I need to show working? When the question says state? Okay, always remember, guys. When question says state, no need working. Nyatakan tak perlu jalan kira. Final answer only. Jawapan akhir. Okay, so first question, they say janjang arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic progression. So they want you to find the value of y minus x. Okay, cari nilai y tolak x. Okay, guys. So in arithmetic progression, what do you have? Dalam janjang arithmetic, uh, untuk menunjukkan besa, kita guna simbol apa? What is the term we use to show difference between two terms in arithmetic progression? There is one word. Yes. Okay, D, guys. Kita akan guna simbol D. Beza sepunya or common difference in English, correct? Okay, so uh, the concept is you can take any two numbers side by side minus each other. They should have a common difference. Okay, mereka akan ada satu beza sepunya. So guys, if you look at this progression over here, what is the common difference over here? May I know? Apa beza sepunya? Kalau kamu lihat janjang ni. Yes, very good. Okay, you just take 45 minus 50, you will get negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 adalah uh, beza sepunya, your common difference. All right. Um, okay, so is this progression descending order or ascending order? May I know? Adakah ini tertib menurun atau menaik? Based on your common difference. Yes, this is descending, guys. Okay, overtime menurun. So, guys, can you tell me what will be your x value? If your common difference is negative 5, logic, apa akan jadi nilai x? Yes. Okay, you just take x equal to 45 minus 5. Okay, so x value sama dengan 40. Okay, what is your y value? Okay, very good, Nitya. Very fast, ah. Okay, so your y value is just 40 minus 5. Okay, which is 35. 35. Okay, so now guys, what is the answer? Y minus x, what will you get? Y tolak x, final answer. Ah. Yes. Okay, you will get the answer negative 5. Congratulations. Okay, so y is 35 and then you just minus 40. Okay, so your final answer you should get negative 5 for question A. Okay, do you all understand guys? Soalan satu, uh, question A. If understand type 1, don't understand type 2. Kalau faham satu, tak faham dua. Okay, one lah. Okay, so what is your value of y over x guys ah uh, okay so this one may i ask will your x and y value maintain same if it's a geometry progression kalau janjang geometry adakah uh, nilai x dan y akan sama this one and this one will your value maintain the same logic yes or no adakah nilai dia kekal sama kalau geometry janjang geometry yes or no cuba fikir do you think the value will be the same guys Yes, confirm not same lah. Okay, takkan sama. So you need to do the progression all over again. Okay, so very simple. In Okay, yes, correct. So the answer is common ratio. Okay, nisbah sepunya. Alright? So guys, what is your common ratio in this question? Apa nisbah sepunya kamu? What is the value? You can just refer to the two value in front. Tengok dua nilai paling depan. You can get your common ratio, yes. You just take T2. Bahagi T1. Okay, so your answer is 9 over 10. Common ratio. So guys, may I know, what is your X value now, guys? Apa nilai X? Kalau nisbah sepunya adalah 9 per 10. Your common ratio is 9 over 10. Anyone? Ah, very simple only. You can get your X value. So what will be the answer? Anyone? Come on. What is your X value? Anyone? Apa nilai X, guys? Kat sini. What is your X value? Common ratio 9 over 10. Nisbah sepunya 9 per 10. So what is your X value? Sangat senang, guys. 
Tak perlu buat kira panjang pun. No need to do long calculation. Yes. Okay, the answer is 40.5. So how you get 40.5, guys? You just take 45 times 9 over 10. Okay, kamu buat yang ni saja akan dapat nilai X. Okay, 45 times 9 over 10 equal to X. Okay, so you will get 40.5. Okay, so what is your Y value, guys? Apa nilai Y? Ah. So again, same step. Yes, very good. 36.45. Okay, 36.45. Correct. Okay, so what is your answer, guys? Y over X? is okay, it's okay. Y bagi X, kamu dapat apa, guys? Ah. So Y is 36.5, X is 40.5. So Y over X should be your common ratio. Am I right, guys? Y bagi X akan jadi nisbah sepunya kamu juga. Okay, so just now, actually, you already find the common ratio. Am I right? Tadi kamu dah cari nisbah sebunia 9 over 10. So, jawapan dia akan sama juga untuk yang ni. So, actually means that you no need to find your Y and X value if you really understand. Do you get me, guys? Kamu tak sepatutnya cari nilai Y dan X. Sebab nilai uh, nisbah sepunia akan malah sepanjang janjang tu. Yes, state. So, means that you just need to use two information also can. Okay, dua informasi saja cukup. Boleh cari Y bagi X ataupun nisbah sepunya, your common ratio. Uh, I'm not really sure about the marks but I think most likely it will be one mark, one mark lah. Because actually right guys, you don't need to find your X and Y value for both of these questions. Okay, because for the first part, Y minus X is your common difference. Am I right? Uh, beza sepunya. So you can actually get it from the two values already. Kamu boleh dapat dari dua nilai paling depan which is negative 5. Uh, and then B also same, is your common ratio. Okay, nisbah sepunya. So, you just take 45 or 50 lah. That's all. Answer. Okay, but for some student, uh, oh, you have the book. Okay, thank you for telling. Okay, so these are the example of answer that SPM student write in that year. Okay, ini adalah contoh jawapan orang tulis dalam soalan dalam SPM 2023. Okay, so you can see they actually find out the x and y value first, then find the common difference. Kalau kamu buat macam ni, also no problem. You still get full mark one, guys. Even though you show working. Walaupun untuk soalan nyatakan. Even though the question says state, but if you show working, as long as your answer correct, the examiner will only see your final answer. Pemeriksa hanya akan nampak jawapan akhir. Dia tak kisah semua yang ni. Okay, they don't look at this. Alright? So, if you can think direct, Direct to the answer lah. Okay, same for this also. Uh, SPM student, they show working. Okay, mereka tunjuk jalan kira. Okay, tahun tu. So, if you want direct final answer, also can. Kebanyakan kamu boleh buat macam ni saja. Pun boleh. You just write the one in blue color circle. Enough. Okay? Okay guys, are you clear? Kita dah habis soalan satu. Okay, so one or two. Satu atau dua. Satu faham, dua tak faham. Okay. So, all understand lah. Okay, so continue. Okay, uh, guys, for those that later want the PDF, right, make sure you stay until the end of the lesson. Okay, kamu kena kekal sampai ke akhir sesi kalau nak dapat PDF ni dari saya. Okay, because I will uh, share my number later on. So you guys can PM me lah for the PDF. Okay, so make sure kekal sampai ke akhir. Stay until the end. I know you will. Okay, so they ask find the value of Q, guys. Cari nilai Q. Very good. Wow, so fast. Uh, okay, so first of all, this is your Form 4, Chapter 7, guys. Okay, Form 4, Bab 2, Joe. No way will leave. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, so they say uh, find the value of Q. Okay, so first of all, you must um, find the gradient okay, of this line. Yang ni soalan sebenar SPM, guys. Please take note. SPM 2023, Admets Kertas 1. Sekarang kita bincang. Soalan sebenar. Bukan paper negeri. Okay? Alright. So, they ask you to find value of Q. Okay. So, first step. Uh, like what Nitya say, you can use M1, M2 equal to negative 1 can. Okay. So, maybe you can think of another step. Okay. So, guys. May I know? Um, what is your P value over here for this equation? Apa nilai P that you can identify? Anyone know? P value only, uh, guys. Nilai P saja. Yes. The answer is two, guys. Guys, you must remember this kind of form, we call it as intercept form, guys. Bentuk pintasan. Kalau kamu nampak persamaan 
bentuk dia macam ni kan. You see the equation something like this. This is what we call as intercept form. Ah, so you must remember that. Okay. So this value nilai A mewakili pintasan x, x intercept. Nilai B mewakili pintasan y, y intercept. Ah, so kamu apply konsep ni untuk soalan yang ni. So guys, you see the y intercept is two. Am I right? Pintasan y sama dengan dua. So P akan sama dengan dua. Okay, P equals to two. Do you all get it? Ah, so you already find one value, P value. Ah, no need to do any working actually. You can direct get the answer. Terus boleh dapat jawapan. Ah, I don't know. Guys, don't ask funny question. Ah, find Q. Ah, ah, later. You have to find P first, guys. Okay. Ah, no, Q is not six. Okay, try again. Ah, okay, I explain slowly, slowly. Don't go so fast. Okay, so now you already have the equation. Am I right? Ah, so now you can actually modify this equation, guys. Okay, kamu boleh tukar persamaan ni. So guys, how do we change it? We combine the equation. Guys, ah, soalan sebenar SPM dua ibu dua puluh tiga at match. Okay, boleh share dengan kawan-kawan kamu juga. Share to all your friend the class. We reach hundred people today. Boleh? Kita nak capai seratus orang. Okay, today we are doing actual SPM 2023 for NMAX, Kertas 1. Okay? Uh, yes, I already record. No worries. Sir, can we be one more time for Y over 2, Y2? I thought 2 is Y intercept. Yes, 2 is your Y intercept. So guys, you must refer to your intercept equation. So the value below the X is your X intercept. Okay, nilai di bawah X adalah pintasan X. Nilai di bawah Y adalah pintasan Y. Ah, uh, You get it, right? Okay, you just refer directly. Below X, X intercept. Below Y, Y intercept. Ah, uh, So now you can change the equation already, guys. Boleh tukar yang ni. So guys, first you combine, become single fraction. Okay, tukar jadi pecahan tunggal. Okay, so you just try to find the gradient. Cari kecerunan. So guys, may I know what is the gradient of this line? Anyone? Apa kecerunan garis ni? Directly, bagi jawapan. Yes. Okay, the answer is uh, negative 1 over 3, correct? Okay, so you will have something like this. Okay, permudahkan, kamu akan dapat persamaan macam ni. Okay, this is your equation now, guys. Y equal to negative 1 over 3x plus 12. Very good, Afiq. Sangat bagus. So, guys, you know that these two line are perpendicular, berserenjang. So, means that Q is your gradient for this line. Okay, Q mewakili kecerunan. So, Q times negative 1 over 3 equal to negative 1. Ah, so, ini adalah konsep dia. Serenjang. Perpendicular. Okay, so you will get Q equal to 3. Settle. Do you guys understand? Boleh dapat kan soalan ni? 1 or 2? 1 atau 2? Ah, kita dah habis soalan kedua. We already done question 2. Okay, so we go question number 3. Okay, so this one is the working. Ini adalah contoh jalan kira yang kamu boleh buat. Okay, this is example only ah guys. Doesn't mean your working must be 100% like this. Tak semestinya jalan kira kamu kena 100% macam ni. It depends how you interpret the question. Bergantung cara kamu analisis soalan. Okay, so each person will have different working. Yes, you do this way also correct. No problem. Okay, as long you get the final answer correct. Asalkan dapat jawapan akhir betul. Okay, alright. So we go to question 3 guys. Okay, very surprising actually because question 3, they come out linear law. Ah, guys, linear law masuk kertas satu tau. Ah, something very rare. Yes, yes. Guys, uh, if you want the PDF, you must stay until the end of the lesson. Then only I will share the, share my personal number to you all. Okay, saya akan bagi nombor WhatsApp saya kat kamu. So that kamu boleh message lah nak PDF. Ah, lepas tu saya hantar kat kamu. Okay, alright. So we go to question number three. Okay, so what for, what chapter is this, guys? Apa bab yang ni? Um, sama saja. Tak boleh kata paling banyak. It's very equal one. Semua bab akan keluar. Tak boleh escape. Yes, this is linear law, guys. Okay, form four, chapter six. Okay, so uh, first question. Okay, this is a theory question, guys. Okay, soalan fakta. So they ask you which line is a suitable line of best fit. Okay, so mana antara dua garis ni adalah 
penyuaian terbaik. Anyone? L1 or L2? Your answer. Best fit line. Which one? Okay, this time our question is very rare. You all never see right before. Kamu tak pernah exam admit tanya macam ni kan? They can ask like this also in paper one. Fact question. So you must understand what are the characteristic of a best fit line. Okay, kamu kena faham ciri-ciri garis penyuaian terbaik. Okay, so many of you say L1, right? Correct. Okay, jawapan dia adalah L1. Okay, so why do you say L1, guys? Can you give me a reason? Kena bagi saya sebab. Mengapa kamu kata L1? So now trial. Yes, correct, correct. Two. Balance. Yes, very good. Can, guys. Can you see that the points are balanced? Boleh nampak? Satu bawah, satu atas. So yang ni adalah ciri-ciri garis penyuaian terbaik. Best fit line concept. Okay? So that's why your uh, L1 is the correct answer. Okay, so for L2, L2 cannot be the correct answer. Okay, L2 tak boleh jadi jawapan betul. Why? Because you got two at the bottom, one on top. Okay, dua bawah, satu atas, itu bukan best fit. Okay, so that's why L2 salah lah. Okay, yes, can also. Okay, so how you write your answer guys? Okay, so kamu boleh tulis macam ni lah. Okay, kamu boleh kata L1 adalah garis penyuaian terbaik. Okay, sebab uh, garis tu menghubungi dua titik. Okay, atas uh, garis. Okay, and the end of the point. Yeah, actually any sebab pun boleh. Kamu boleh kata uh, balance. Titik ke atas satu, titik ke bawah satu. Yang tu pun boleh cakap. You can also say guys, one point on top, one point on bottom also can. As reason. Okay, the reason is very general one. Okay, yang ni sangat general. As long logic, your answer is correct. Okay, but of course, this answer must be correct lah. Okay, jawapan yang ni kena betul dulu. Okay, L1 is the correct answer. Okay, do you guys understand? Question A, boleh kan? Very simple, right? Okay, so we uh, wait. Huh? How about touch more lines? You mean points, huh? Points or lines? Points. Um, points. Uh, let me see. Yeah, uh. one, two. But over here, right? They are not touching most number of points. Can you see? They only touch two points. So you cannot say touch more points. Okay, because both line also touch two points. Am I right? L one also touch two point. L two also touch two point. Correct. Ah, uh, so yes. That's why you cannot use touch more point. You must talk about the balance up, up and down. Whether it's balance or not. Okay. All right, so we go to the next one. Okay, so for question B, guys, they say 10-9 lies on the best fit. Okay, so maksudnya untuk uh, L1 lah. Okay, mereka tengah cakap. So guys, first step, you must identify your axis. Okay, kena kena pasti paksi. So now your axis is 1 over y against x square. Okay, so now um, you given another point. Okay, kamu diberi satu lagi titik baru. And they ask you to express y in term of x. Okay, ungkapkan y dalam sebutan x. Okay, so how? First step, what must you find, guys? Kena cari quantity apa dulu? Ah, first one is what? Yes, very good. Your kecerunan, guys. Gradient. Okay, so which two point you will use now, guys, to find the gradient? Kamu guna tua titik apa untuk cari kecerunan dalam soalan ni? May I know? Anyone? Two points, dua titik. Cuba nyatakan, mana dua titik yang kamu pilih sekarang? What two points are you choosing? Or you tell your answer lah. Kamu bagi tahu jawapan kecerunan kamu. Yes, correct. So anyone? What are the two points you use? Come on. Apa dua titik yang kamu gunakan? Very good. Okay, you must use 6, 7 and also 10, 9. Very good. Okay, why cannot use this point guys? Kenapa tak boleh guna titik ni? May I know? 2, 4. Very good. He never touched the line, guys. Dia tak sentuh. Very good. Remember, you can only substitute the point that is on the line. Hanya boleh ganti titik di atas garis. Okay, so you count lah. Okay, so you will get uh, 9 minus 7 over 10 minus 6 is your gradient. Okay, so gradient equal to 1 over 2. Okay, so now you have gradient. Next, what must you find? Satu lagi quantity. Yes. Okay, you must find your y-intercept, guys. Kena cari pintasan y. Okay, so you can write y equal to mx plus c. Okay, so now y 
you can choose any coordinate lah. Boleh pilih sama ada coordinate ni ataupun coordinate ni. You just choose any one coordinate to sub. Okay, so let's say I choose 10, 9. So 9 equal to 1 over 2, 10 plus C. Okay, so C I will get 4. Okay, C saya akan dapat 4. Okay, so now my new equation is 1 over Y equal to M 1 per 2 X square. Okay, X is X square plus C. Ah, uh, So guys, is this my final answer? Adakah ini jawapan akhir? Okay, very good. Okay, remember to see the question. They want you to express Y in term of X. Okay, ungkapkan Y dalam sebutan X. So you just need to do algebra only now. Okay, buat saja algebra. So your working will be something like this. Okay, you combine these two to become one fraction. Okay, kamu gabung dia jadi satu pecahan tunggal. Times Y square. Ah. Times Y square. Uh, better not. Don't times Y square. Okay, because you will get different answer one. Because Bowen, you must understand when you times y square on left hand side, right hand side will also have a y square. Am I right? Then you trouble a d. Because right hand side can only have x. Do you understand? Ah, that's why y square cannot. Okay? So you just modify this one by itself. Don't add anything. Okay? So just combine them to one fraction. Okay, guys, do you understand question number three? Boleh faham soalan tiga? Satu atau dua? Sampai sekarang? One or two? We already done question three. Dah habis. Show me A. Okay, this one. Okay, satu ah. Huh? Kalau ada soalan, pastikan kamu tanya. If you got question, just ask only. Okay? Can I continue? Okay, so question number four, we are coming to three go guys. From Pi chapter six. Ah, So this one not easy lah. Tak senang. Okay, but I think you can still do. Masih boleh dibuat. Okay, so for this question, form 5, chapter 6. Okay, so they ask you tangent beta. First question. Okay, kamu kena cari nilai tangent beta. Modern math, trigo or not? No, this one at maths. Guys, this kind of question you won't see in modern maths. Only at maths. Okay, so they ask you find tangent beta. Okay, so how guys? Macam mana boleh cari nilai tangent beta? Okay, so first step, uh, you must find your reference angle. Okay, kamu kena cari sudut rujukan kamu. Am I right? Okay, so this one is in quadrant number two. Okay, quadrant kedua. So tangent positive atau negative, guys? Quadrant kedua. Second quadrant. Is my tangent a positive or negative value? Okay, very good lah. So means that you must expect your answer to have a uh, negative value. Okay, kamu kena ada nilai negative. Okay, so first step, you just try to construct your triangle. Okay, so this one is negative P and then this one is Q. Okay, so now you can find the tangent beta D. Okay, so you just focus on this triangle over here. Lihat segi tiga yang ni. Okay, so tangent equal to what guys? May I know what is the formula? Tangent sama dengan basic one yang asas. Ah, yes, opposite over adjacent or Y over X. Okay, correct. Bertentangan bahagi bersebelahan. Okay, so over here... Bertentangan is P, bersebelahan is Q. Am I right? Okay, so tangent beta equal to P over Q. Okay, boleh dapat? Okay, so your value you should get P over Q. Okay, P bahagi Q. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, you will get this one. Okay, so kamu boleh tunjuk jalan kira macam ni lah. Okay, you can show the working something like this. Uh, okay lah, can say modern maths also lah. Can also. Okay? Alright. So we go to question B guys. Soalan B. Wow, nak capai 100 orang dah. Huh? Continue share the link guys. 10 orang lagi. 10 more people. Come on. Share it to your friend. Identity? Yes. This is identity question. Correct. So guys, how are you going to change this? Macam mana kamu boleh tukar yang ni guys? May I know? Sekarang kamu kena ungkapkan. Express in term of P and Q. So how to change this? Ah, uh, So cotangent sama dengan apa dulu? You must remember the formula. Anyone? Cotangent sama dengan apa? Cuba komen. Cotangent equal to? Come on guys. Yes, very good. 1 over tangent. Okay, 1 per tangent theta. 
Okay, so this is how you modify, guys. Ah, uh, so means that cotangent 180 plus beta equal to 1 over. Okay, then tangent 180 plus beta. Can you understand, guys? Boleh faham tak? Langka ni. I just use the basic formula. Formula asas sahaja tangent or cotangent. Okay, so now you can expand this. Am I right, guys? Kamu boleh kembangkan yang ni based on your um, addition formula, rumus penambahan. Okay, so for tangent, actually you can refer in front. Boleh lihat rumus dia. Okay, so when you expand, you should get something like this. Okay, kamu akan dapat yang ni. Okay, so when you expand tangent, this is how you get. Okay, kamu ikut saja rumus dia. Okay, so the formula is something like this. Tangent A plus B equal to tangent A plus tangent B over 1 minus tangent A, tangent B. Ah, Kamu guna rumus ni guys. Then just substitute your value only. Gantikan semua nilai. Okay, so tangent 180, you can press calculator. Am I right? So tangent 180, kalau kamu tekan, kamu dapat kosong guys. You get zero. Okay, so means that you can cut. Okay, kamu boleh potong semua ni dah. Okay, you just cut everything with tangent 180. Ah, uh, So you simplify. Okay, pemudahkan saja. Okay, so for tangent beta, you already get the answer on top. Okay, kamu dah dapat jawapan bahagian A, tangent beta. So you just substitute only. Tangent beta is 1 over P over Q. Okay, so your answer will get Q over P. Ah, uh, So this is your final answer, guys. Jawapan A. Do you understand? One or two? Satu atau dua? Clear, right? Sangat straightforward, kan? A, A is the simple concept only, guys. Opposite over adjacent. Okay, bertentangan bahagi bersebelahan saja. Equal to tangent. Formula sheet, I don't have here. Uh, you mean this one, is it? Bowen, this is for this formula. This one will have. This formula will have in formula sheet. So no need to memorize this one. Uh, recently, they add on a lot of formula in the formula sheet. Do you guys notice that? There are many formulas. I think now it's 44. Am I right, guys? Kertas 1, 44 rumus kan? And maths. Ah, uh, Masa sebelum tu, ada 21 saja. saya rasa. 21 atau 23. So dia ada ganda 2 bilangan rumus. So maksudnya semua rumus ni akan masuk. All the value will enter. Um, over here, right, guys? Um, I think they just want to take the magnitude only. Okay, mereka ambil magnitude saja for tangent beta. They don't want to take the negative sign. Okay, they just take the magnitude only. Okay, do you understand? So we don't add the negative sign over here. Okay, and also one more thing, you must understand that beta is a small angle. Am I right? Beta tu lebih kecil. Okay, it's less than uh, 90 degrees. Definitely. Okay, so if less than 90 degrees, it is an acute angle. Guys, faham kan? Kalau sudut tu lebih kurang 90 darjah, dia adalah sudut tirus. So guys, usually acute angle is your reference angle. Am I right? Okay, that's the concept. Okay, sudut tirus adalah sudut rujukan. So guys, if you still remember your... What is it? Your... Modern maths. Ah. So you have a formula, right? For tangent. Okay, you have formula tangent alpha equal to negative tangent theta. Do you still remember this formula, guys? Masih ingat? Modern maths. You learn this, right? Form 5, chapter 6. Ah. Tak ingat dah, guys? Hopefully you must remember. Ah. Okay, kena ingat yang ni. Okay, so this formula, sekarang alpha kamu adalah beta. Am I right? Okay? Yes, hold on. I explaining. Okay, sabar guys. Okay, so sekarang kamu boleh tukar jadi tangent beta. Okay, alpha atau beta sama sajalah. Okay, so you must remember there is a negative sign guys. So guys, tangent theta, negative P over Q. Do you all see it? Negative, negative, hapus. Cancel. So that's why the answer is P over Q saja. Boleh dapat tak? Sebab rumus dia, asal dia ke, ada simbol negative. Ah. Originally, the formula that is negative sign. So that's why you will get P over Q. Okay? Whenever you're comparing quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, guys, dua quadrant ni kamu boleh guna rumus ni. Okay? Only quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. 
Tuomos ni boleh guna. Faham? Okay. So you must understand this fact. Okay. So proceed. Boleh pergi lagi. Okay. So we come to question 5 lah. Okay. So question 5 is on um, vector. Okay. Form 4, chapter 8. Uh, not hard. Tak susah. Don't worry. It's not that hard. Okay. Wait for a while. Uh, so this kind of question, you guys must score full mark lah guys. Kena dapat maka penuh. Okay, I am too used to triangle vector. Yes. Uh, okay, so first question. They ask SP guys. Mereka tanya SP. So SP means something like this. Am I right? Uh, so SP sama dengan apa? Cuba jawab guys. What is your final answer for SP? State only. State means final answer. Square grids hardest. Yes, very good. Okay, SP akan sama dengan SO tambah OP. So this is your triangle, guys. Okay, so may I know SO? What is the vector, guys? SO. Ah, uh, so now you must. Ah, uh, kamu lihat soalan ni lah. Ah, uh, Nitya, if you choose Q, right? Do you have the coordinate of Q? May I know? You don't have, right? So if you don't have coordinate, how to form the vector? Ah, uh, you cannot form the SQ vector because you don't have the Q coordinate. Ah, uh, very good. Okay, so SO is equal to negative I minus 2J. Okay, so how about OP guys? What is OP equal to? Sama dengan apa? OP. SP tambah PO. Uh, sekarang kita cari SP. Uh, Fazliana, soalan suruh nyatakan SP. Okay, bukan SO. Alright. Okay, so OP is what guys? Anyone? Apa nilai vector OP? Yes. Okay, just read the coordinate, guys. Okay, baca saja coordinate P. Negative I plus phi J. Okay, because ah, there is one term for this, guys. Siapa ingat? Untuk vector macam ni ada satu nama. Siapa tahu nama dia? There is one term for this kind of vector where it start from the origin. Does anyone know the name? Ah, yeah, mula dari asal, asalan. Apa nama jenis vector macam tu? Why S2 negative J? S sebab sekarang kita patah balik. Okay. SO sekarang. Kalau OS, kamu ikut koordinat S. 1, 2. So I tambah J. Tambah 2 J. Okay. Sekarang kita SO. So SO maksudnya kena tambah negatif. Sebab opposite. Bertentangan. Arah dia. Vector lajo. Uh, bukan? Bukan vector lajo. Sama guys. There is one term. Where a vector start from origin. OP. OB, very good, Jolin. Position vector, guys. Vector kedudukan. Have you all remember this, guys? Position vector. Do you all know this or not? Have you heard this word? Ah, uh, Kalau kamu betul-betul baca vector, kamu tahulah perkataan ni. Vector kedudukan dalam BM. Ah, uh, Vector kedudukan means that it start from origin. Vector tu bermula dari asalan. Uh, zero vector, of course lah. That one very simple. It's equal to zero. Am I right? Okay. So next one. Question B1. Okay. So this question is a bit weird. Okay. So guys, a lot of you will get scared. Banyak orang akan takut dah. Lihat yang ni. Am I right? Apa itu operasi arithmetic vector? Ah, uh, Takut kan? What is the meaning of vector arithmetic progression? No. Not matrix. Guys, arithmetic is what? May I know? You all got study arithmetic progression. What is the meaning of arithmetic? Apa maksud arithmetic? Siapa tahu? No. Not not pattern. Yes. Arithmetic is plus and minus guys. So basically, kamu kena tunjuk tambah vector dan tolak vector saja dalam jalan kira kamu. You just need to show addition and subtraction of vector. That's all. That is the meaning of vectors arithmetic operation. Okay, operasi arithmetic vector. Penambahan dan penolakan vector saja. Okay? So, kamu kena mula lah. You start with this equation. Okay, so you have to find the M value. Okay, so first step, you must find out PQ. Okay, so PQ mereka sudah beri. They given you in the question already. Okay, so just substitute lah. Gantikan saja. Okay, SP, kamu dah dapat. You already get in part A. Ah, uh, So, you just do the substitution only. Buat penggantian saja. Alright? So, your answer will come something like this. Okay? 
So you just expand normally, kembangkan tiga masuk dalam. Okay, you get this one. And then you group the common term. Okay, kamu faktorkan uh, ungkapan yang sepunya. Okay, contoh I dan J. Okay, you just factorize them. Okay, you group all the J together. You group all the I together. Okay, then this step, you just compare left-hand side and right-hand side. Okay, bandingkan perkali J di kiri dan kanan plus persamaan. Okay, you just compare the coefficient of J. Okay, so 3 plus 3M equal to 15. Okay, so selesaikan untuk M. Clear right guys? Senangkan vector. Susah tak? Is it hard guys? May I ask you honestly? Secara jujur. Soalan ni susah tak? Tak susah kan? Not hard right? Ah, So, don't think NMATS is hard guys. Jangan fikir NMATS tu susah. It's very easy actually. Sangat senang. Okay, so next one. They ask you unit vector guys. Ah, So, may I know? What is unit vector? Apa maksud vector unit? Siapa boleh bagi tahu saya? A very important word. Unit vector. Not just magnitude. You must describe completely, guys. Why can secara penuh? Magnitude equal to zero. No. Who say magnitude equal zero? Wrong point lah. Yes. One, guys. You must understand unit vector is the vector where magnitude equal to one. Okay, unit vector adalah satu vector di mana magnitude dia adalah satu selalunya. Okay, yes. Vector over magnitude. Correct. Okay, that is the correct answer. Unit vector is vector bahagi magnitude. Okay, so PQ. So PQ, you already have the vector. Am I right? Kamu dah ada. So M, kamu dah cari tadi. Empat. So gantikan saja. Just substitute your M. Apply the formula. Okay, so magnitude. Formula is this one. Okay, ini adalah rumus untuk magnitude. X square plus Y square. Okay, so you can simplify lah. You can leave your answer like this also can. Boleh tinggalkan kat situ pun boleh. Jawapan dia. Okay, if you want to further simplify, nak permudahkan lagi, you can get this answer lah. Okay, but actually no problem. If this one also is still correct. Okay guys, boleh dapat? Senangkan soalan lima. Very simple right? Question number five. Okay, so one or two, satu atau dua. Kita dah habis soalan kelima. Wah, very fast lah guys. Sangat pantas. Jadi question six. Ah, so far the question all very okay lah. Sampai sekarang soalan dia tak pelik-pelik lagi. Nanti akan datang pelik. Ah, bila nak dekat dengan bahagian B. Usually it's like that. Add match pattern. Okay, so first question. Okay, so what chapter is this guys? Apa bab yang ni? Ah, kamu semua suka kan bab ni guys? You all like this chapter a lot. Form 4 chapter 1 guys. Very easy to score. Senang nak score bab ni. Okay, because usually not many kebat question lah. Tak banyak soalan kebat kat sini. Okay, so they ask you to find the value of other object. Okay, cari objek yang lain. So guys, when they ask to find object, what value must you find? May I know? Bila suruh cari objek, dia nak nilai Y atau nilai X? Ah, So object? Yes. Object, remember always you must find your X. Ah. In other words, the question is ask you to find your X. That's all. Okay, so you can use the function over here and then you must find the other object of H. Okay, so guys, you can see over here, H ada dua objek. Am I right? Okay, so kamu lukis satu garis dan ada satu lagi garis ke kiri. So guys, there is another object over here. Let's say I call it X1. Saya panggil dia X1. Okay, one object adalah tujuh. So how do we find X1 guys? May I know? What is the concept? Ah, So first step, you must find the H. Am I right? Kamu kena cari nilai H. So how to find the H? Just substitute X equal to 7. Okay, gantikan X sama dengan 7. So this value is equal to H. Okay, so H sama dengan 5. Okay, so now you already know. This one is 5. Ah, So macam mana dapat nilai X guys? Okay, substitute FX sama dengan 5. Okay, gantikan saja. So, 5 equal to modulus x minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so you solve for your x. Okay, cari nilai x. So, you will get like this. Okay, now, may I know guys, berapa possibility jawapan kamu boleh ada kat sini guys? Berdasarkan persamaan ni. How many possible answer? Yes. Always remember guys, modulus graph kena ada dua jawapan untuk x. We'll always have two answer one for x. Okay, so you must... 
consider two case. One is 4, another one is negative 4. Okay, selalu dia akan positif dan negatif. Okay, so this one, X sama dengan 7 and this one, X sama dengan negative 1. So guys, which answer will you choose? May I know? Kamu akan pilih jawapan mana untuk soalan A? Yes, of course you choose negative 1 lah. Okay, because 7 dah ada jawapan kat sini. Okay, so 7 definitely not the answer. So you choose the other one. Okay, so the answer is negative 1. Okay, so this is your working. Ini adalah jalan kira dia. Okay, one or two guys. Satu atau dua. Soalan ni. Boleh kan? Okay, still. Very good. Okay, so continue. Soalan B1. Okay, so question B1. They ask you to find F inverse P. Okay, so means that kamu kena buat fungsi songsang lah untuk F. Okay, so how to do inverse function guys? May I know? First step, what do you do? Inverse function. Fungsi songsang langkah pertama. Yes. Let y. Okay, you can let y equal to 4x minus 1. Okay, so then you express x in term of y. Okay, ungkapkan x dalam sebutan y. So you will get like this. Okay, so this is your inverse function. Okay, so f songsang x equal to x plus 1 over 4. Okay, so now x equal to p. So kamu ganti x sama dengan p sama dengan 2 equal to 2. So 2 is equal to P plus 1 over 4. So P is equal to 7. P sama dengan 7. Clear right guys? Very simple right? Question B1. Sangat senang kan? B1. Ah, siapa kata NMATS tu susah guys? Who tell you NMATS so hard? So simple lah guys. Ah, okay, so now we go question B2. Soalan B2. Ah, what do you mean teacher? Okay, so they say FGX equal to Phi F2. Okay, so how to find FGX? We do composite function, buat fungsi gumbahan. Okay, so FGX, which one come first guys? Mana datang dulu? F atau G? Which one you should do first? Yes, always do the right hand side first. Buat G, masuk dalam F. Okay, G inside F. So means that 4, 2X plus 3, minus 1. Okay, so your answer will get 8X plus 11. Okay, and now they say equal to 5F2, 5F2. So F2, kamu ganti X sama dengan 2 dalam persamaan 2. Okay, just substitute uh, X equal to 2 and then kali 5. Okay, so 5, 2 minus 1. Okay, so you can solve for X lah. Selesaikan persamaan ni. So you will get X equal to 3. Yes. Okay, boleh guys? So X equal to 3 for question B2. Okay, so B2 jalan kira dia macam ni. Okay, this is your working. Okay guys, do you understand question number 6? Boleh faham soalan ke 6? Clear right? Sangat clear kan? Okay, question number 6. Ah, uh, Ini semua soalan yang sebenar SPM tau guys. Jangan main-main. This the actual SPM paper 1. Ah, uh, So kalau kamu rasa senang, maksudnya baguslah untuk kamu. Maksudnya LMATS kamu dah kukuh. Your LMATS basic is already there. Okay, so next one. Question number 7. Soalan ke tujuh. Okay, this is the midpoint lah. Bila kamu sampai soalan tujuh, kamu dah setengah jalan dah. Kertas. Yes, I feel that SPM 2023 lebih senang berbanding 2022. Definitely more simple. Okay? Alright guys. So this is what chapter? May I know? Bab ini apa? Uh, I think SPM 2022. My one. My SPM. <laughs> okay? This is form 4. No. This is form 4, chapter 2, guys. Okay? This is your quadratic. Okay? Form 4, chapter 2, yes. Okay? Alright, so they ask you to express P in term of C. Okay, so may I know, guys, what is the concept here you must use? Apa concept? Kalau kamu nak ungkapkan P dalam sebutan C. Yes. Later you will see. So anyone? What's the concept? Ah, Refer to the graph. Lihat graph dia. Apa kamu boleh kenal pasti? Dari graph ni guys, what can you identify when you look at this graph? Anyone? What is the concept? Uh, no. This one is form 4 chapter 2 guys. Form 4 bab 2 kita takkan bincang pasal kecerunan, tangent, apa-apa, tak ada. We won't discuss on the gradient of tangent. Uh, yes, punca. Correct. So guys, how many roots are here? May I know? Berapa punca kamu boleh nampak 
antara lengkung dan garis. Antara lengkung dan garis, guys. Between the curve and the line. How many roots? When I ask you roots, right, guys, bila saya tanya berapa punca, saya merujuk kepada berapa nilai X kamu akan dapat. Ah, uh, That's my meaning, guys. Yes. The answer is one, guys. Sebab ada satu saja titik persilangan. There is only one intersection point. So when you have one intersection point, definitely you got only one X. Am I right? Kamu akan ada, ni ada satu jawapan. Only one answer. So mean that one X. Okay? So you just need to equalize these two equations. Okay? Samakan dua-dua persamaan ni. Okay? Uh, yes. Correct. Okay? So you will get something like this. Okay, you just equal to zero. Okay, bagi dia sama dengan kosong. Okay, shift everything to the right hand side. Okay, and then you rearrange in the quadratic format. Okay, kamu susun dalam bentuk arm quadratic yang ni. Okay, so now may I know, what is your A value guys? Can you comment? Apa nilai A kamu kat sini? Yes. What is your B value? Very good. What is your C value? Nilai C? Very good. Negative P plus C, correct. Okay, so then, what will you do? Kamu akan buat apa? Yes. Okay, B square minus 4AC. Right hand side, lebih besar, sama dengan, atau lebih kecil dari kosong. Which one? Is it greater, less than, or equal to for this one? Yes. Okay, equal to zero, guys. B square minus 4AC, equal to zero. Okay, so why equal to zero? Because... If you see the question carefully, do the question ask you range, guys? Adakah soalan tanya julat nilai P dalam sebutan C? Tak ada kan? The question never ask you range of P in term of C. When they never say range, means definitely you don't have this sign. Am I right? Bila mereka tak ada sebut perkataan julat, kamu pasti tak ada simbol ni dah. You don't have the inequality sign because they never say range. Ah, So that's why it's equal to zero. Do you understand? Ah, uh, that's why you can get an equation. Kamu akan dapat persamaan. Can you observe graph also same concept, guys? Kamu lihat graph hanya satu titik persilangan. Means this is what we call as tangent. Am I right? The line is tangent to the curve. Okay, garis lurus tu adalah tangent kepada lengkung. Sebab dia satu lengkung satu titik sahaja. Only one point. Ah, uh, so two method you can use. Okay, so you just substitute. B square minus 4AC and then you express P in term of C. Okay, ungkapkan P dalam sebutan C. Okay, are you clear guys? One or two? Satu atau dua? Untuk soalan A ni? Are you all clear? Can ah? Okay guys, now I tell you something. There is actually another method that you can use over here. Okay, kamu boleh guna satu lagi kaedah sebenarnya kat sini. So anyone? Do you know what method can I use? If I don't want to use quadratic, kalau saya tak mau guna uh, kaedah quadratic, there is one more method. Uh, think and see guys. Ada satu lagi kaedah untuk selesaikan soalan ni. Yes, differentiation guys. You can still use differentiation over here. Okay, how? Just now I told you right, tadi saya bagi tahu yang ni adalah apa guys? Tangent. Am I right? So when tangent come out in your mind, what come out? Apa kamu dapat? dy over dx. Correct. Okay, so means that you just need to differentiate this, guys. Kamu bezakan persamaan lengkung, you will get the tangent. Ah, uh, So, guys, when you differentiate this, may I know what you get? Kamu dapat apa dari pembezaan persamaan ni? What is your answer? Ah, uh, Now time to practice your differentiation, guys. So, anyone, what's the answer? Yes, negative 4x plus 3. Okay, so what is the gradient of tangent? Apa kecerunan tangent dari persamaan ni? Yes. Okay, just y equal to mx plus c. Okay, so m sama dengan negative 4 sama dengan dy over dx. So guys, bandingkan dengan yang ni. Okay, just compare. So what is the gradient of this line guys? May I know? Apa kecerunan garis tu? Negative x plus c. Yes, negative 1. Okay, so means that equal. Okay, negative 4x plus 3 equal to negative 1. Okay, sebab this is your dy over dx. So, that is your value of tangent. Itu adalah nilai tangent kamu. So, is equal to negative 1 dari garis ni. Okay? So, then you just solve for x value. Selesaikan untuk nilai x. 
So you will get one, satu. Okay, next step, what do you all do, guys? After you already find X, you will substitute back in the equation. Am I right? Kamu akan masukkan X kat sini. Okay, substitute in your equations. Okay, so over here, you need to substitute in both equations. Okay, kamu kena ganti kepada dua-dua persamaan. Why? Why do we need to substitute to two equation? Because the question asks, express P in term of C. Kamu kena ungkapkan P dalam sebutan C, guys. So, kamu bayangkanlah, kalau kamu gantikan hanya dalam satu persamaan, if you just substitute in one equation, can you express P in term of C, guys? Yes or no? If I just sub in one of the equation, kalau saya ganti dalam satu persamaan saja, boleh tak saya jawab soalan ni? Yes or no? Logically, tak boleh kan? Sebab kamu tak ada nilai C. You don't have the C value dalam persamaan ni. So that's why you need to substitute in also this equation. Ganti X sama dengan satu dalam dua-dua persamaan juga. Okay, and then you just equalize. Samakan. Ah, So this is the second method, guys. Kaedah kedua. Okay, can you all see? So you also will get the answer. Okay, kamu akan dapat jawapan dia juga. Okay, are you all clear, guys? So this is your second method. So one or two? Satu atau dua? Sampai sekarang. Still one, ah? Okay, so we go to the next question. Soalan B. Okay, so question B is interesting. They ask you to use the table method, guys. Ah, So guys, siapa tak lagi kuasai kaedah jadual, pastikan kena kuasai sekarang. Sebab soalan SPM tahun lepas dah tanya. Okay, you must know how to solve quadratic by using table method. Okay? Yes, there is also number line. Number line and table is actually the concept very similar. Okay? Alright. So, how do we solve this, guys? Okay, so of course, first step, rearrange in quadratic equation. Okay, kamu kena susun dalam persamaan quadratic. Okay, so you just expand lah. Okay, kembangkan saja. Okay, so you will get something like this. Let me show you. Okay, so your equation will look like this. Okay, this one. Okay, so you just need to expand, kembangkan, susun dalam ketaksaman kuadratik. Okay, you just rearrange in the quadratic inequality. This one. Okay, so then, pemfaktoran mudah. Okay, you just factorize normally. Try to learn, guys. Because when questions say by using table method, dengan menggunakan kaedah jadual, kamu tak boleh guna kaedah lain dah. Kamu dah restricted. Okay, you already must follow the question. Okay, so you must learn also uh, table method. Okay, alright guys. So from here, you will get 2x value. Am I right? Kamu akan dapat dua nilai ni. Okay, over here, you can let it equal to 0. Okay, kamu boleh katakan dia sama dengan kosong guys. Okay, then only you can get your 2x value. Kamu boleh dapat dua nilai x ni. Am I right? Uh, so now... Macam mana nak guna kaedah jadual? Okay, so this is the concept for your table method. Okay, so first of all, kamu akan ada tiga possibility jawapan. Remember this guys, kuadratik ketaksaman selalunya ada tiga possible jawapan saja. Only three guys. Okay, why kena ada tiga saja? Sebab, okay, you refer to your graph lah. So guys, graph kamu, kalau kamu guna kaedah graph untuk uh, jawab soalan, kamu akan lorek kat sini kan? Satu. Dua, tiga. Am I right? You will shade in these three region. Okay, so that's why you have three possible answer, guys. Kamu ada tiga uh, jawapan yang mungkin. Guys, may I know? Do I shade over here? Adakah saya akan lorek kat sini? Yes or no, guys? May I know? Okay, very good. Remember, tak boleh lorek kat situ. Ah. You cannot shade that. Wrong. Okay, so you got only three possible answer. Uh, so that's why your symbol is like this, guys. Okay, this one is less than, this one is greater than, this one is less less x. Uh, so your symbol is something like this. Uh, so kamu akan dapat macam ni lah. So guys, you just choose any number. So guys, can you all give me a number less than negative 2? Bagi saya satu contoh. Give me an example. Any number that is less than negative 2. Anyone? Satu nombor yang lebih kecil, yes. Okay, negative 3 can... Okay, so just substitute x equal negative 3 over here. You will get nilai negatif. Am I right? You gantikan negative value kat sini, kamu pun dapat negatif. So guys, negative times negative dapat apa? Positif. Am I right? So that's why you tulis positif lah. You write positive down there. Ah, Then just repeat the step. 
ulang saja untuk dua-dua yang lain. So guys, faham tak macam mana guna kaedah jadual ni? Do you all understand or not? So you must draw your table like this. Okay, kena lukis macam ni. Alright? Okay, so they say greater than zero. Am I right? Your working is greater than zero. Lebih besar dari kosong. So guys, kamu akan pilih jawapan mana? A, B, C. Mana yang betul? They say greater than zero. So which one is the correct answer? Anyone? Apa jawapan betul kat sini? Yes. Okay, A and C guys. Okay, A dan C akan menjadi jawapan betul. Okay? Because both also is a positive answer. Am I right? Kedua-dua akan bagi nilai jawapan positif. Okay, kamu kena patuhi yang ni. Lebih besar dari kosong. So, maksudnya positive value. Positive answer. Okay? So, that's why jawapan akhir dia macam ni. Okay? One or two guys. Satu atau dua untuk soalan ni. Yang ni soalan sangat basic lah. Soalan rutin. Kamu akan selalu nampak dalam admats. If you do admats, often you should know this kind of question already. Okay? Alright. So, we see question number C. Okay, so question number C, another very common question. They ask you to form the quadratic equation. Okay, kamu kena bentuk persamaan quadratic. Okay, so how? Okay, so first step, you must start with this equation. So guys, may I know, what is your SOR over here? Apa nilai hasil tambah punca untuk persamaan ni? Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, the answer is negative 3. Okay, so you must ingat SOR or hasil tambah punca equal to negative b over a. Okay, this is the formula. So, negative 6 bagi 2 equal to negative 3. Okay, so what is your POR, guys? HDP. Apa nilai dia? Uh, C squared square. Ken, guys, P is a constant. Am I right? P is not a variable over here. So, P square is just a constant square. So, you can have square. As long they never write x square. Ah, okay? Yes. Okay, the answer is 2p square. So, POR is equal to c over a. Am I right? So, you just take 4p square divided by 2. Okay, so answer is 2p square. Okay, so you already get the information already. So, the other. Okay, so this value is equal to what, guys? May I know? Negative 3 sama dengan apa? It'll equal to this 2, right? You just add up. The two roots. Okay, because they say sum of roots. Very good. Okay, hasil tambah punca. So, you can already find your P value. Okay, so P is equal to negative 1. Okay, 3P sama dengan negative 3. So, P sama dengan negative 1. Okay, next one. Um, You can find POR. Okay, so POR, you have 2P square equal to... Uh, okay, so over here, you already get the P value. So, you can just substitute lah. Okay, gantikan saja P equal to negative 1. Okay, so you will get uh, your POR equal to 2. Okay, so POR you should get 2 as your answer. 2. Alright, so now you must find your new SOR and new POR. Cari SOR dan POR baru. Okay, so you will get something like this. Okay, so you just substitute the value only. Gantikan nilai saja. Okay, so you can see over here your POR is 2. Okay, SOR. Okay, and then... Uh, okay, guys. Over here, right, your P value, you must take note. Okay, so over here, you can have 2 P value. Kamu boleh ada 2 nilai P. Okay, actually, over here, no need, right? Okay, no need to show this one, guys. Tak perlu tujuh yang ni. Kenapa? Because we already got the P value earlier, guys. Am I right? Kita dah dapat nilai P tadi. So, it will be the same one. SOR ataupun POR, P, uh, nilai P tu memang kena negatif satu. It cannot change. Yes, akan ada. Jangan risau. Ah, uh, So, you just do for one, is enough already. Buat untuk HTP dah cukup. Tak perlu buat untuk HDP lagi cari nilai P. Sebab dia akan sama sahaja. Okay, it'll just be the same thing. Okay? So, you can direct use P equal to negative one. Okay, and then you just substitute. Okay, can you see? Negative one, negative one. Ah. Uh, uh, YouTube saya. Guys, uh, recording boleh tengok kat YouTube saya. Alright? Google saja nama saya guys. Akan keluar. Okay, tengok nama saya dan Google. Okay, Buen Raj Ganesh. Okay, boleh Google. Alright. Berita ada. No, no need to talk. Okay, so now, 
um, your new SOR and new POR, guys, you can form it. Okay, so they tell you your two roots, uh, P minus one and P plus one. Am I right? Ini adalah dua punca baru kamu. So you just add up lah. Untuk HTP, kamu tambah dua-dua. Wait ah. Okay, so for HTP, kamu tambah dua-dua. HDP, you times both. Darab dua-dua. Okay, then you just substitute in your equation. Okay, so your equation, guys, you must remember this is the format ah. Kamu kena ingat macam mana nak bentuk persamaan kuadrati baru. Okay, you must use this formula. Kena guna rumus ni. Okay, so for BM, like this. Okay, boleh dapat guys? Can you understand? Uh, berita nanti tanya lah guys. <laughs> Which berita nak tanya? Semua berita akan ada pun. <laughs> Kamu google sajalah. Nama saya akan keluar. Guys, if you want to know more about me, you just google my name. You will know more about me already. Google saja nama saya. Cukup dah. <laughs> Okay, so they ask, so this is your format of equation, guys. Ah, go IG, guys. Sesiapa nak ikut saya ke IG, boleh follow saya juga. No problem. Ah, no lah. Pusat. Ah, so this my IG. Sesiapa nak follow saya, boleh tekan follow lah. Okay, kalau nak ikuti saya dengan lebih dekat. Okay, so this is your equation, guys. Persamaan kamu. Okay, so you can just form the equation. Bentuk persamaan. Okay, guys. Are you clear, guys, for this question? One or two, satu atau dua, soalan tujuh, tenang kan? All clear? Okay, so we go next one, soalan lapan, number eight. Okay, so number eight, come back to progression. Okay, janjang. Eight susah, wah, what link you share guys? I so scared already. Wow, you share the news link already, so fast you get. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Uh, you all, and uh, guys, jangan baca berita sekarang ah. Tengok admits. Sekarang kelas admits, bukan kelas baca berita. Okay, look back at admits. Okay, later you can read the news. Okay, so now, baca selepas kelas, yes. Okay, so first question, guys. They ask you the angle of sector for the smallest piece. Okay, kamu kena cari um, darjah, bahagian terkecil. So, guys, if you see this question, is this arithmetic or geometry progression? May I know? AP or GP? Ah. You must scanal pasti dulu. Yes. Okay, so guys, you see the keyword over here. Increase by constant amount. Okay, bertambah dengan nilai yang malah. So this is of course AP. Okay? Yes. Correct. Okay, so they ask you to find basically the smaller sector. This one. Mereka nak tahu sudut ni, guys. Ah, so that is the question. AP, not APT. Oh, you you like the song, ah, guys? APT. Semua suka lagu tu ke? Ah. You all like, right? Uh, later, you want, we do trend, lah, guys. You all sing to me. Uh, you all sing that song to me. Uh, we all do one trend, guys. Nanti kita buat trend APT sama-sama. A value, right, sir? Yes. Okay, so, yes. Okay, so you must understand, if they want the smallest piece, kalau nak bagian terkecil, ATP tu adenosine triphosphate, kan? Uh, yang tu energy, lah. Bukan APT. Okay, so they ask you, Bagian terkecil, smallest piece. So you must find the first term, guys. Okay? Yang pertama. Okay, so how? You must refer this information. Okay, tengok yang ni, guys. Okay, so over here, you don't know your A value. Do you know your D value, guys? May I know? Adakah kamu tahu nilai D? Beza sepunya kat sini? Tak ada kan? Dalam soalan. The question never give you D value. So guys, you want to find A and you also want to find D. Kamu nak cari dua-dua nilai ni, guys. So, what concept you want to use, guys? Bila nak cari dua unknown. Dua pemboleh ubah tak tahu. So, what concept is it? Always the same only. Two unknown means that you must have two equation. Yes. Kamu kena ada dua persamaan. So, persamaan serentak lah. Simultaneous equation. Okay. So, first equation, S4 equal to 72. Okay. So, then just apply. Rumus untuk arithmetic. N over 2. 2A plus N minus 1D. Okay, so this is your formula. Alright? And then, the second information, you just refer over here. Okay? Fourth piece is third time. Three times the smaller sector. Okay, sector yang keempat tu tiga kali. Sector terkecil. So, means that T4 equal to 3T1. Boleh? Can, right? So, this is your two equation. So, guys. Use the formula. 
KTN equal to A plus N minus 1D. Okay, so just gantikan nilai saja And then solve simultaneous. Okay, so these are your two equation. Dua persamaan. So you will get D equal to 6. Ganti balik, you get your A value. So A value adalah jawapan dia lah. Okay, so answer is 9. Okay, do you understand guys? Senang kan? Very straightforward, right? Question A. Okay, so for question B, they ask you to find the value of N. Cari nilai N. So how to find? Okay, so N here represent your number of sectors. Okay, jumlah sector. Very common sense, guys. May I know? Total, all the sector together, how many degrees? Berapa darjah? Correct. So this is your equation, guys. Sn is equal to 360 degrees. Because one circle, satu bulatan adalah 360 darjah. Okay? So then, just use your formula again. Kamu dah ada nilai A, D, find the N. Uh, only one unknown. Okay, so you just solve like this. Selesaikan macam ni. Okay? Clear? So over here, reject negative value lah. Okay, tolak nilai negative. Ambil yang positif saja. Because N represent the number of sector. Bilangan sector. So kena lebih besar dari kosong. Okay? Clear guys? One or two for question eight. We done question eight already. Okay, so now question nine already. Okay, this question a bit hard. Sedikit susah. Coming harder already now. Okay, so for question number nine. What chapter guys? Ah, this chapter a lot of you don't like. Am I right? Your form four, chapter four guys. Ah, they like to ask hard question here. Suka tanya soalan susah. Usually. Okay, so for first question, they ask you to find the ratio. Okay, cari nisbah. Okay, so how to do this? Okay, so very simple. You just need to compare. Correct. You split. Okay, so first one, you do this. Second one, you do this. Uh, actually, I don't know how to show. Okay, something like this. Okay, you compare X and Y for blue. And then the red one is you compare X and Z. Okay, so kamu boleh cari nisbah lah. X to Y to Z. Okay, so X and Y you start first. Okay, so for X and Y, okay, you just use the indices rule. Okay, tukar kepada asas dua, correct. Okay, you change it to base two. Okay, and then you compare the indices. Okay, so kamu akan dapat nisbah X to Y. 3 to 1. Okay, senang kan? Okay, then you compare X and Z. Okay, bandingkan X dan Z. So, square root, punca kuasa 2, tukar kepada 1 per 2. Okay, your index is 1 over 2. Yes, correct, Kai. Okay, and then same concept, compare the indices, bandingkan index dia. Okay, and then cari X bahagi Z. Okay, find the ratio X over Z. Okay, so now, how to make the conclusion? Okay, so your information, something like this, right? Am I right? X to Y is 3 to 1. X to Z, 3 to 2. Okay, so means that Y is also 1. Am I right? So your answer is this one lah. Ini adalah jawapan dia. Senang tak guys? Very simple, right? 1 or 2. 1 atau 2. Clear? Uh, actually, it look hard. Nampak susah saja. Actually, very straightforward. Okay? Alright, so we see question B. Soalan B. Okay, so question B, they ask you express P in term of Q. What if X is not 3? Uh, what do you mean? What if X is not 3? Uh, I don't understand your question. X can be any value, guys. You just follow on me. Ikut saja nisbah dia. The ratio is not 3 to 5. Uh, 5 is what? Oh, maybe 2 to 5. Uh, how to make it same? Oh, okay, I understand your question already. Understand. Okay, guys. So, let's say the question come like this, guys. Macam mana nak samakan dua-dua nisbah ni? Very, sim very simple, guys. The concept is you try to make these two number the same. Okay, bagi nombor kat tengah-tengah tu sama. That's the concept. Okay, so how? This one you times 4. Am I right? Darab dengan 4. So, guys, dua-dua ni boleh combine. Okay, because 4 and 4 is the same. Yes, you all learn this in modern maths. Am I right? Mathematics modern. So you combine become like this, simplify, uh, then kamu dapat jawapan lah. So this is the answer. Uh, ini konsep dia. Okay? Yeah, common factor, correct. Okay? Alright, so for question B, um, what base you want to change your answer to, guys? Yes. Okay, you always change to the same base. Okay, tukar kepada asas sama. So 9 
I will change to base 3. Okay, so I can tukar ke asas 3. Okay, so you just get uh, 3 square. Okay, and then you start to simplify it. Okay, mula untuk pemudahkan. Okay, so you will get something like this. Okay, so 9 is 3 square. Expand, kembangkan, and then you try to split, guys. Okay, pisahkan kat sini. So guys, you see that 4PQ, 4PQ. Dua-dua ni serupa kan? It's the same thing. So saya boleh faktorkan 3 power 4PQ. Yes. Okay, so that you get 3 square and 3 power negative 3 ke dalam kurungan. Okay, then you just count the value. Cari nilai yang ni, tekan calculator. Okay, and then this one, you can shift to the right hand side. Pindah ke sebelah kanan. Okay, so you get a very perfect number. Kamu dapat satu nombor sangat perfect dah. So 81 is what guys? 81 is 3 power 4. Okay, you break it all to base 3. Bagi semua asas sama. Okay, so you can direct compare index dia. So 4 PQ equal 4. Okay, so P sama dengan 1 bahagi Q. Okay, understand? 1 atau 2 untuk soalan B. Clear right? Okay. Alright, so question C guys. Question C a bit hard. Soalan C nampak susah. Ah, so can anyone tell me what is the answer for this? It's a very simple answer guys. Jawapan dia sangat senang untuk yang ni. Tapi mungkin kamu takkan terfikir senang macam tu. Wow, you guys actually get the answer. Ah. Guys, kamu percaya tak? Seluruh yang ni jawapan dia satu saja. Fatal. Answer is one. Ah, nampak complex saja. This one look very complex only. But the answer is just one. Okay, so how to make it one? You must make the base the same lah guys. Okay, bagi dia asal sama. Okay, so I choose the base become AB. Okay, so why I choose AB? Because I see AB over here. Okay, saya nampak dua-dua pun AB. So AB, AB, boleh potong. I can cut. Okay, because base and number same means is one for the log. Log AA sama dengan satu. Am I right guys? I'm using this concept now. Log AA equal to one. That's why I want to get rid of AB. Saya nak hapuskan AB ni. Ah, so you can do the working like this. Okay, so like this. Okay, so you just add new base. Okay, so bila tambah base baru, you must remember, you must use this formula. Log AB equal to log CB bagi log CA. Ah, masih ingat kan guys, rumus ni. Bila tambah asas baru. Okay, when you add new base, ah, so you will get like this lah. Okay, kamu akan dapat macam ni. So guys, you can cut log AB, AB boleh botong. Okay, so you get log ABA plus log ABB. Ah, so guys, bila asal sama, what can you do? Log 3 plus log 3, you can combine. Am I right? Okay, example like this. So you will get log 3, 5 times 5, 25. Ah, so that's why A times B. Ah, so guys, AB, AB, satu lah. That's why the answer is 1. Simple or not guys? Senang kan? Tapi idea ni kamu kena tahu lah. This idea over here. This the most important. Kalau kamu tak dapat idea tu susah. Yes? Why? Ah, this the whole thing. A and B. Don't worry, I will send the PDF. Okay? Wow, nice quote ah, Nitya. Okay, no, 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 stop. No need to sing the song. I know you want to be gold, we. Am I right? No need to be cool, guys. Uh, yo, you guys. I know some of you will share a link, right? Simply share a link there so that I open, then see, see, see Rick Ashley dancing that song. I won't fall for it, lah, guys. Don't worry. Show me B. Okay, this one. You guys are very smart. I know. Okay, Bowen? Clear? Okay, so next question is number 9 already. Soalan ke sembilan. Okay, nah? Okay. So, question number... Eh, sorry. Ten already, ah. Wait, ah, guys. Oh, ten, right? Just now was nine. Am I right? Ah, yeah. Correct. Ten already. Soalan ke sepuluh, guys. Okay, so question number ten. Um, What chapter? Ah, Try to see. What chapter is this? Uh, not that so sala, guys. It's not that hard. It's not as hard as you think. Yes, this is your differentiation, guys. Form 5, Chapter 2, this question. Okay, you see turning point? Tite pusingan? Yes. Okay, this is your Form 5, Chapter 2. 
Okay, so for question A, they ask you to find the maximum number of balls. Okay, cari bilangan maximum bola. Uh, not yet. Wait first, Avalon. Wait first. I know you see maximum, you say equal to zero, but slowly. Okay, so over here, they say spherical ball, radius 5. Okay, this is the first information, guys. So may I know, what is your symbol for this? Uh, volume, decrease. Uh, isi padu berkurang 20 pi. Uh, other than that, other than that information. Uh, so anyone? If 20 pi, what is your symbol for that? You must think and see. Anyone? Yes, negative. Okay, so basically your symbol is this one, guys. Delta V equal to negative Doppler pi. Can you understand? Because this is the change in volume. Am I right? Ini adalah perubahan isi padu. So that's why I use delta. Yes. And you must add negative, huh, guys, because they say decrease. Kalau cakap menyusut, kena ada simbol negative. If you don't write negative, habis. Your answer wrong already. Okay? Ah. A lot of people forget one. Banyak orang lupa negative. So make sure you read the question carefully. Okay, so now uh, sphere. So just now people tell V equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube. Yes, you can use that formula. Okay, so from there you can find B V D R. Am I right? Okay, so V equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. Okay, so DV over DR, you will get 4 pi r square. Okay, so your... Let me see. Okay, R value. Now you must try to find your R value. Okay, so how guys? May I know? How to get the R value here? Macam mana dapat nilai R? Anyone? Can think and see? How should I get my R over here? Ah, So guys, very clear, right? Can you see here? Radius, 5 cm. Am I right? Ah, So you just substitute lah. R sama dengan 5. Okay, just substitute only. Okay, so you will get uh, yes, 100 pi. Okay, correct. Okay, so now you can find delta R. Am I right? Kamu boleh cari delta R. So you can use this formula. Delta V equal to dV over dR kali delta R. Uh, so cari delta R. Okay, so your working will be something like this. Okay, so when you solve and see the equation, okay, so delta R you will get negative 0 0.2. Okay, so now, Kamu kena cari R yang baru. Okay, find your new R. So guys, originally R5, right? Asal dia R sama dengan 5 dalam soalan. Sekarang dia kurang negatif 0.2. So 5 minus 0.2 only lah. Okay, 5 tolak 0.2. So you will get 4.8. This is your new R, guys. Jejari yang baru. Okay, your new radius. Okay? First time, ah, guys, we always use delta for rate of change. Okay? Delta is to show change, guys. Perubahan kecil. Small changes. Okay? Ah, so now, the question asks you the maximum number of balls, guys. So they, I mean, you already found your radius. Kamu dah cari, um, apa? Jejari kamu. So how to find the maximum number of balls? Yes. Okay, so what divide what? What concept? Ah, so you must refer this one. Arrange in a single line, length 2.5. Ah. So what is the concept here? Yes, you must convert to CM because your radius is in CM. Can you see guys? Jejari kamu dalam CM, so maksudnya panjang kamu pun kena convert ke CM. So it's 250 cm. Okay, bahagi, divide what? So your radius now is 4.8. Ah, So I should divide what? Okay, so 4.8 must times by 2. Okay, so why times by 2? Because we are using the formula 2 pi r. Am I right, guys? Sebab yang ni merujuk lilitan, circumference. Atas 2 pi r, so maksudnya bawah pun kena bandingkan 2 pi r also lah. Yang ni untuk satu bola. The bottom one is for one ball. So you take total, divide satu bola, so kamu dapat bilangan bola lah. That's the concept. Okay, total uh, circumference divide circumference for one ball. You get the number of ball. Okay? The pi already automatically cancel. That's why they never show the pi. Okay, they just take 2R. Okay, pi sudah potong. All right, so you will get 26.04. Okay, so kamu boleh bundakan lah. You just round off your answer, become 26. Okay, so why they choose 26? 
because they say maximum guys maximum symbol ketaksaman macam ni kan am i right okay so maximum means less than or equal to 26.04 so that's why you use 26 lah as your final answer okay do you guys understand satu atau dua untuk soalan a clear right okay so we go on question b okay so for question b they say determine the type of turning point okay so what do they mean guys apa maksud jenis titik pusingan pusingan yes maximum or minimum so how you just do differentiation okay buat pembezaan saja bagi persamaan ni so guys what do you get after differentiate selepas pembezaan okay yes you can use d2y over dx2 very good okay so when you differentiate one you get 6x plus 7 bezakan sekali lagi you get 6 so guys 6 kalau dapat nilai 6 maximum or minimum may i know if your answer is 6 ah yes minimum okay because if it's greater than 0 kamu akan dapat nilai minimum minimum value okay or minimum point okay so this is your answer for question b yes maximum is less than 0 just like your a value guys a less than 0 like this a greater than zero, like this. Okay, so same concept. D2y over dx2 pun guna konsep ni. Okay, like this. Okay, so it's the same concept. Alright? Okay, so for question C, soalan nombor C. They ask you to find the equation, guys. Cari persamaan lengkung. Ah, So over here, what must we do, guys? Kena buat proses apa? For question C. Yes, you must integrate, guys. Kamu kena kamekan. Alright? So you just integrate this equation over here. Okay, kamekan saja. Definite or indefinite? Ah, tentu atau tak tentu? Kamekan dia. Yes. Always remember, indefinite, ah, Boren, because you have no limits here. Okay, you refer the question. There is no limits given. Okay, so it's of course indefinite integral. Okay, ah, so you just ah, kamekan lah, macam biasa. Okay, just integrate as normal. Make sure tambah C. Don't forget, ah, guys. Must plus C. Kalau tak tentu. And then you substitute the point. Gantikan titik untuk cari nilai C. Find your C value. Okay, so X equal 1 over 2. Y equal to 5. Okay, so your C value akan sama dengan 3. Okay, so then you just rewrite your equation in the format, the question 1. Okay, tulis balik persamaan dalam format ni. Okay, so they want in this format. Okay, so make sure you give your final answer like this. Okay, boleh dapat guys? Do you understand? Question C. Ah, just rearrange your answer like this, Bowen. Ah, you see over here how they rearrange. Okay, you just write back your answer like that. They want you to write in A, 2x plus 1 power B plus C. Okay, so A is 1 over 8, B is 4, C is 3. You just rearrange the equation, Bowen. Ah. We arrange only algebra. Show me A. Okay. Uh, A is this one. Okay. Okay. So continue. Huh? Okay. Proceed. Question number 11. Soalan ke 11. Okay, so question number 11 is talking about uh, probability, form 5, chapter 5. Yes, not hard, tak susah juga. Okay, so for question A, they say that whoever is this student, uh, yes, it's very simple actually, guys. Soalan paper 1 sangat senang sebenarnya, easy to score. Okay, so for this one, they say probability is 19 over 20. Uh, yes, it's different student answer one they take, not the same one. Okay, so they say they want to produce 820 unit. Okay, so mean guys, what is the formula for mean? May I know? Or final answer also you can give. Okay, final. Direct to the answer. What is your mean answer? Jawapan mean. Yes. Okay, you just take N times P. Okay, so you will get 779. Correct. Okay, so you just take 820 kali 19 per 20. This is your P. This is your N. Okay, cari NP. Okay, so what is your standard deviation, guys? CCMPRY? Yes, no problem one for y'all. Sangat senang. <laughs> so standard deviation, anyone? Yes, final answer. 
press calculator and see. Okay, very good. Okay, so when you press calculator, your answer should get 6.241. Okay, so this is for question A, guys. So A. Sangat direct. Very simple. Okay. All right. So we go to question B1. Okay, so question B1, they ask you to find the value of R. Okay, suddenly come to Form 5, Chapter 4, guys. This question actually they mix two topics. Make a Gabong Form 5, Chapter 5, then Form 5, Chapter 4. Not hard, guys. Trust me. SPM 2023, this one not hard. Tangat senang. Very short. Okay, so guys, for this one, they say that number of different ways of choosing our student equal. Uh, okay, so number of ways choosing our student, bilangan cara pilih uh, our movie, and see our. Uh, don't know lah. Okay, it's equal to number of ways of choosing our plus 13 student. Uh, so ini adalah persamaan kamu guys. This is your equation. So you must solve for our. Uh, and they already tell you, n is equal to 25. Okay, 25 orang. Okay, so your current equation is 25CR equal to 25CR plus 13. Okay? Ah, so now, how to solve for R, guys? Macam mana selesaikan untuk R? Okay, so guys, very simple. You can uh, do like this. Okay, boleh buat macam ni. Okay, over here, if you want, you can use the formula. Okay? You can use the formula. So guys, what is your formula for NCR? NCR is equal to what? Okay, I think it's N factorial over uh, R factorial and minus R factorial. Am I right, guys? This is the formula, right? If not mistaken. Uh, so you see here, guys, your N value is same. Left-hand side, right-hand side. Okay, nilai N sama. So means that I no need to write this. Am I right? Because it's equal to each other. Uh, so I just compare the bottom. Bandingkan bawah sahaja. Okay? So you just take um, R factorial, 25 minus R factorial, and is equal to uh, R plus 13 factorial, and 25 minus R minus 13. So you have uh, 12 minus R factorial. Okay, so you just need to simplify this one. Okay, kamu kena permudahkan yang ni. Okay, so when you simplify it, you should get this equation over here. Okay, kamu akan dapat persamaan ni. Okay, so basically, if you notice one thing lah guys, you just plus these two equal to 25. That's the faster method. Okay, you know, itu adalah kaedah lebih pantas. If you can refer that one. Okay, you can use this method also. Okay, when you can use this method is when your top is the same. Okay, bila atas tu sama. Nombor dia sama, right? So you just direct plus these two equal to 25. Okay, so how they get this idea, guys? Very simple. You just press calculator. Tekan calculator, you will understand. Okay, you just put a random answer. 25C5. Okay, you try and see. And then you try 25C2 plus 3. Ah, then you see what is the relationship. How to get the answer. Okay, you will get something like this. Okay, your R plus R plus 13 equal to 25. Do you all understand? You must memorize this, uh, guys. It's very easy one. Kalau kamu nampak nilai N sama, kamu tambah dua-dua kat bawah, sama dengan nilai N. Remember pattern ni. It will save you a lot of time in the exam. Okay, so that you can direct find your R answer. Very easy. Okay? Can you guys get it? Senang kan? Alright. So next one. Question B2. Soalan B2. Okay, so now this one is about permutation. Okay, so they want you to find the number of ways. The boys cannot be next to each other. Tidak boleh bersebelahan. Okay, so guys, may I know how to solve this? It's very short also. Sangat pendek. Ah, think and see. You got eight students, equal number boys and girls. Sama lelaki dan perempuan. Yes, you just draw it out, guys. So guys, very simple. Eight students, am I right? Okay, so you look over here. They say boys cannot be next to each other. Okay? Lelaki tak boleh sama. So guys, they say equal number of boys and girls. So eight students mean that four boy, four girl. Betul? So yes. Okay, so first you place the girls. Okay, letak saja perempuan. So guys, they say boys cannot be next to each other. Tak boleh bersebelahan. So maksudnya, boy boleh berada semua kat kedudukan yang ni. Am I right? So guys, how many girls we have? Four. 
and can we arrange these four girls randomly yes okay kita boleh susun ke semua ni secara rawak so four factorial times boys boys kamu ada empat so kamu boleh letak kat sini 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 atau sini so five possible place to pick four boys ah uh, five p4 lah ah uh, senang that's all settle guys that's all your answer okay then kira jawapan saja so simple right sangat senang kan okay so yeah that's all no need to think so complex guys tak perlu fikir complex yang ni saja soalan dua okay that's all okay so then you just press calculator get the answer dapat jawapan ah uh, siapa kata admit susah guys ah uh, kamu semua saja kata susah you all only say very hard we are in question number 12 soalan ke-12 dah last of section a ah uh, hopefully it's a glimpse lah for 2024 hopefully berdoa lah guys dapat soalan macam ni have to pray a lot get this kind of question okay so for question 12a may i know what is the mean guys ah uh, come on lah tutup mata boleh dapat jawapan yang ni lah okay variants what's the answer variants anyone yes 0.5 square okay so your answer is 0.25 okay jawapan dia 0.25 all right okay so this is your answer for question a okay soalan b okay so for question b they come to normal okay tabu and normal okay so for first question they ask you to express m in term of a okay for this one okay kamu kena ungkapkan all right so uh let me see okay so they say shaded region represent the probability that mass is between these two okay so this is the information guys ini adalah informasi dia okay so how do we do this okay so modulus means that positive negative am i right okay modulus means you can split okay so probability modulus z less than k equal to probability z less than k plus plus probability greater than negative k okay it can be both sides boleh jadi dua arah so actually when you combine everything you get two times probability z less than k and right ini adalah jawapan dia okay so from here you can actually try to express tadi kamu boleh mula ungkapkan all right so how to express okay you will get something like this they ask m in term of alpha okay so your m is actually your z score am i right m2 score z so means that you can use the formula of z equal to x minus mean over standard deviation ccm py okay so z is equal to m what is your x value guys apa nilai x kat sini may i know ah think and see apa nilai x kamu what is your x value you can refer the question so which one is the correct one anyone apa nilai x betul yes okay the answer is negative alpha plus 40 okay your x value is negative alpha plus 40 okay so why guys because we are comparing m am i right so m is on the negative side okay m2 di bawah score z negative so guys kalau score z negative maksudnya nilai x pun kena negative am i right x should logic be negative because standard deviation is positive mean pun also is a positive selalunya so x kena negative kalau saya nak z jadi negative do you understand x negative confirm z negative okay so that's why we choose the negative lah alpha is confirm positive am i right guys alpha if i choose is definitely a positive value ni nilai positive okay so that's why i choose negative alpha tambah 40 do you understand guys one or two satu atau dua kenapa saya pilih negative alpha plus 40 can right Okay, because m2 adalah nilai negatif you must understand okay so minus mean mean tadi dah dapat kan okay your mean value is 20 20 divide standard deviation 0.5 ah so you just solve the equation lah selesaikan saja yang ni express m in term of alpha ungkapkan m dalam sebutan alpha so you will get this answer dapat jawapan ni okay clear guys soalan b1 can one or two boleh kan okay so next one b2 soalan b2 they ask you to find the value of alpha okay cari nilai alpha so how to find the value 
Okay, you use this equation. Okay, so guys, when you got equation like this, you must split. Okay, kamu kena pisahkan dia. Okay, so basically this one, you will get probability z less than k. Basically this one lah guys, this one over here. Okay, it's the same, yes, same one. So this is the answer. Two times probability z less than k. Okay, so you will have this equation. 2p z less than k equal to 0 0.2622. Okay, so this is, wait now guys, let me rewrite again. 2p z less than k sama dengan 0 0.2662. Okay guys, may I know, can I refer the table for this value? Can, right? Saya boleh ujuk. Can, guys. When probability is less than 0 0.5, I can always I can always refer the table. You must remember that, guys. Kalau nilai kebang kalian kurang dari 0.5, saya boleh rujuk jadual. Okay, but first, I need to shift the 2 to the right-hand side. Okay, saya kena pindah nombor 2. So, shift to right-hand side become divide. Okay, so 0 0.2662 divide to 0 0.1331. Ah. So, guys, check and see. Cuba periksa. Is my inequality sign correct, guys? Yes or no? Adakah simbol ketaksaman saya betul? Anyone? Is it correct? Ah, no. Okay, so if it's not correct, means that you must switch the sign. Okay, kamu kena tukar simbol. So when you change the sign, become negative. Negative K. 0 0.1331. Okay? Do you all get it? Boleh dapat kan? Okay. So now you can already uh, start to solve for your value of... Okay, over here they ask you alpha, right? So you must change a bit your equation. Okay, so over here your k is actually your z score. And k is actually equal to alpha. Am I right, guys? So tadi m sama dengan negative alpha plus 40. So now your k is actually the alpha. Okay, because bila guna jadual normal, kamu kena ingat, guys. Selalunya simbol kena ke arah kanan. Your inequality sign always to the right when you use your uh, normal distribution table. Boleh? Can, right? Okay, so you will get Pz greater than... Okay, so actually you can start change from on top already. Okay, kamu boleh mula tukar dari atas. Okay, so that is easier for you. Okay? So, yeah. So you will get alpha minus 20 over 0 0.5 okay equal to 0 0.1331 kosong point satu tiga tiga satu okay and then you just need to solve for the alpha okay just read from the table jawapan dia okay baca jadual saja okay wait now guys over here they show a different working let me see first uh wait now guys let me check and see carefully z less than k Modulus. Hmm. Maybe I expand wrongly. Sada, guys. Let me see whether I expand the thing wrongly. Oh, okay, okay. I think they use different method. Ah, uh, I think they use different method, guys. Yes, yes. Okay, got two method. This method also can. My method also can. Kamu boleh pilih. Okay, for your information, make up what kaida ni lah. Okay, so the answer is slightly different. Okay, I mean jalan kira dia kat sini is slightly different. Okay, they use the concept of one minus the one on the right hand side and also left hand side. This one also can. Kaida ni pun boleh. No problem. Okay, so you will still get the same answer. Akan dapat jawapan sama. Okay, so your alpha should get 20.17. Okay, this value you just refer in your normal table. Okay, so you can convert it to the Z score. Okay, tukar kebang kalian kepada skor Z based on your normal table. You all know how to read, right guys? Normal table. Tahu baca kan jadual normal. Uh, that day only I did revision class. So if you don't know, pergi YouTube. See how I discuss how to use your normal table from 5 chapter 5 and maths. Okay? Alright. So we finish section A already. Okay, dah habis bagian A. Okay guys, section B, I will choose question. Okay, I, saya akan bincang dua sahaja. Because in exam, you only need to do two. Am I right? Okay, so which question you want me to discuss? Two question. 13 yang ni, 14, 15. Okay, so which one you all want, guys? Choose two. 
pilih dua. I follow majority. So kamu kata apa, saya ikut. Okay, so we do 13 and 15. Okay, 13, 15. Boleh, right? Okay, so we do, eh, got 14 lah. I follow majority lah, guys. 13, 15 lah. Okay, I think this one is quite easy. Okay, 13, 15 look more hard. Okay, so for question 13. Okay, so they ask you to express y in term of x. Okay, ungkapkan y dalam sebutan x. Okay, guys, when you see for this type of question, bila nampak soalan macam ni. Okay, first step, you will try to get rid of the lawn. Line of best fit, yes. Ah, guys, don't be shocked. Ah. Kertas satu pun sekarang mereka dah tanya lakar graf tiga. Okay, they ask you to draw three go graf tadi. In paper one, you know. Bukan paper two. Paper one also start to come out. Not that hard lah. It's not that hard. Tak sangat susah. Okay. So now, first step, you just shift the power. Okay, this one, you can shift on top. Okay, just bawa atas. And then this one, you also uh, bring on top. Bawa atas. Okay. The number in front, you can always become a power. Okay, guys. So you see, long, long. What can I do, guys? Long sebelah kiri, long sebelah kanan. Potong. That's all. Yes, just compare. Okay, so your answer get like this. They ask you express y in term of x. Ungkapkan y dalam sebutan x. So what I do? I take the six root. Okay, saya ambil kuasa dua, punca kuasa ke enam. Okay, so I just take this one times one over six. Okay, they all see that guys. Macam mana saya buat. So six and six, cut, boleh potong, cancel. So you have y equal to x square root five over six. Settle. That's all. This is your answer, guys. Jawapan dia. Yes. What's your question? I want to get rid of power 6. So, I times 1 over 6 lah. Okay, saya kali 1 per 6. 1 per 6 maksudnya apa, guys? Punca kuasa ke 6. Am I right? Ah, the 6 root. Okay, so when I do 6 root on left-hand side, right-hand side also I must times 1 over 6 lah to the power. Okay, so that's why the answer is like this. Ah, simple or not, guys? Senang kan soalan ni? So fast. Uh, next one. Okay, this one even more senang lah guys. Sangat senang lah yang ni. Okay, so this one first step, you shift the 3 to the right hand side. First time I say add match paper like this, you know, SPM. <laughs> I say senang. Okay, so first step, very simple. Lawn adalah log base E. Am I right? So you just apply convert log form to index form. Okay, kamu tukar bentuk log ke index. So E power 3 equal to x plus y square. Okay, so you express y in term of x. y equal to square root e power 3 minus x. Settle. Ini adalah jawapan nombor 2. Okay, so this is how you solve, guys, these two questions. Are you clear? One or two? Satu atau dua? Untuk dua soalan ni? Clear, right? Okay, so we see question B. Question B more okay, but Okay, because they give you a diagram like this. Ah, This one not that straightforward. 13B. Okay, so for 13B, they ask you to find the value of x, guys. Cari nilai x. Uh, they will come out weird, weird question. This one is circular measure. Something like that lah. Okay, bab sukatan membulat. So, they say that AD is this one. Okay, so you just label x plus 2 sur 2. Okay, and then, okay, this information important, guys. Yang ni penting. Nisbah. Okay, the ratio of the radius of semicircle to chord 6 to 1. Okay, jejari kepada perentas 6 kepada 1. So guys, um, AD, AD is your chord. Am I right? Okay, so you can take the radius divide chord equal to 6 over 1. So guys, radius is equal to what? Radius is equal to, this is your diameter. Am I right? Ini adalah diameter. So X plus Yes, that's why they say, right, this SPM question very weird this year. Sangat pelik soalan dia. Uh, so, radius, like this lah. Okay. X plus 2, so 2 diameter, bahagi 2, dapat radius. And then your chord, chord is this one. Am I right? So, equal to 6 times this value. Uh, maybe, but the question, the way they ask is weird. Cara tanya soalan tu pelik. Because I never see before. Uh, so, this is your equation, guys. Can you see? Uh, ini adalah persamaan kamu lah. Okay? Yes. Uh, no, no need table method. They ask you to find x value, guys. Cari nilai x. 
Okay, so you just need to use your third rule. Okay, guna hukum third saja. Okay, so over here, you can cross multiply or you can actually split. Okay, cuba pisahkan ni jadi dua pecahan. Okay, you do two, two separate fraction, single fraction. Okay, and then you group all the x to one side. Bawa x semua ke satu belah persamaan. Semua nombor ke satu lagi belah. So, kita nak cari nilai x. We want to find the x value. Yes. Okay, when you arrive at this, guys, don't stop. A lot of people will stop over here. Remember, bottom of answer cannot have set. Okay, bawa pecahan tak boleh ada set. So, you must use concept of conjugate set. So, your conjugate set is 1 over 2 plus 6 set 2. So, you just times lah on top and bottom. Then expand, kembangkan. All of this is algebra, guys. Everything algebra. So, you just simplify your answer. Permudahkan sampai dapat macam ni. Okay, the answer look complex. But the method is very simple lah. Kaedah dia sangat senang. Okay, guys? Are you clear? Because the answer... Uh, sorry, the question, they ask you to give your answer in this format. Kena bagi jawapan dalam format yang ni. So that's why you cannot leave your answer here. Tak boleh tinggal kat situ. Okay? Alright. So we already finished question 13 lah. Dah habis soalan 13. Okay, so now we come to the last question, guys, for today. Soalan terakhir. Number 15, guys. Soalan 15. Ah, your favorite chapter lah, guys. Trigo. Ah, Trigo. 14 ah. 14 very short. This is 14. Okay? I also don't know. That's why they say very weird. The last question. C2 is actually simple, guys. C2, if you attend the intensive class from 4 chapter 1, I got teach you all. Okay, whenever you have G power 4N minus 3, what you do, guys? You check the power. You try to see the pattern. Okay, it means you try G square, G cube, G4. Just, just see the pattern. Tengok pola dia macam mana. Okay, so maybe G square, you will get X. G cube, you get 4 over X. G4, you get X. So guys, then you predict lah. 4 power N, eh, sorry, 4N minus 3. Will you get an even or odd number? May I know? 4N tolak 3, kamu akan dapat nombor genap atau ganjil. If you refer this pattern, you substitute any value also. Ganti semua uh, nilai N yang mungkin. Yes, you will always get an odd answer, guys. Kamu cuba lah. You try substitute your N value. Ah, uh, So, you means that they are focusing on this answer. That's all. So, your answer is 4 over X lah. Do you understand? Ah, uh, This is the concept. That's all only. Okay? Alright. So, we see question number 15. Soalan 15. Okay. So, first, first question, they ask you to complete the value of y. Cari nilai y. Okay, how to do this, guys? Press calculator only lah. Okay, just sub one by one. Okay, I don't know why they give so many values lah, guys. Saya tak tahu kenapa kena bagi sampai 10 lebih nilai. Because they want to see lah who will get the mistake. Mereka nak tengok siapa akan cuai. Yes, for fun only, actually. Okay, so just make sure you sub correctly inside this equation. Find your y value. Cari nilai y. Okay, so all your answers will be this one. Okay, so give your answer to three decimal place. Okay, bagi jawapan kepada 3 dp. Okay, always must be consistent. Okay, make sure you're consistent ah guys. Eh, sorry, 2 dp. Okay, dua tempat perpuluhan. Semua jawapan. Every single answer. <laughs> no lah. JE Advance is got higher level question. This one also low level lah for JE Advance. Okay, so for question B, uh, those people can close their eye also can answer this question lah. Sleep also can answer your ad match lah, guys. SPM. <laughs> so simple for them. Uh, yes. 2 dp. Must maintain constant. Okay. Kena sama. 2 tempat perpuluhan. For every single answer. Yes. If you get answer 1, right guys, you must put 0 0.00 to maintain 2 dp. Okay. Try to be consistent with the dp. Okay. Bagi semua tempat perpuluhan sama. Okay. Alright. So now, uh, question B, you must draw the graph. Okay, soalan B, kamu akan kena plot saja graph kamu. Okay, so when you draw the graph, make sure you plot all the points over here correctly. Okay, kena lukis semua titik. Okay, just plot every single point, one by one. Okay, and then, um, let me see. Okay, you must follow the scale also. Kena equal skala. Okay, so guys, look at your scale over here. 3 cm to pi over 3 on x-axis and 2 cm to 1 unit 
on the y axis don't worry guys after you plot you'll understand la why the shape like that am i right you plot one by one la the points one two three four five and then six seven eight all these points you plot guys come on i can plot some more detail ni okay based on your table ah uh, so you connect la hubungkan semua la all these detail okay then you will get the graph okay the line not yet garis tu dah belum lagi don't look at the line yet Okay, you see question C1. Okay, easy lah. That's why you laugh. Okay, guys. So what is the suitable equation for straight line? Ah, uh, how to get this? Macam mana dapat yang ni, guys? Okay, so you must think and see. Your graph is this one. Am I right? So you must try to modify and see and see. Cuba modify. So guys, what can I do over here? First step, I can add negative. Am I right? You see tomorrow lah, Bowen. Tomorrow we will discuss paper two. Okay, so kita buat kertas dua, guys, untuk admits tahun ni. Okay, so this is your equation for your graph. Ini adalah persamaan kamu. So, guys, you must try to modify this one. Okay, so how to modify? First step, add negative. Okay, kamu kena tambah simbol negative. So, you get negative 3 sine 3 over 2x. So, guys, if you add negative left-hand side, right-hand side, what must you do? Also add negative. Am I right? Kalau kiri, yes. Okay, so you will get uh, 2 minus 4x over pi. Okay, so now plus 1. Kena tambah 1. Okay, so you plus 1 here. So 2 plus 1, you get 3. Uh, so this is your equation lah guys. Can you understand? So this one is what guys? Yang saya bulakan. The whole thing that I circle is your y. Am I right? So I just change to y equal to 3 minus 4x over pi. That's all. That's your answer. Itu jawapan kamu. Okay, so this is how you solve question C1. Okay, can get it, right? Senangkan. Okay, so we go to question C2. Okay, C2, they ask you to draw the straight line. Okay, so what straight line? This one lah. Okay, kamu kena lukis garis lurus yang ni. Okay, so how to draw the straight line? You just plot a few points. Guys, this is actual SPM paper 2023. Okay, soalan sebenar SPM 2023. Okay? Ah, take note, ah. Okay, so this one. They ask you to state the value of x in term of pi. Okay, nyatakan nilai x dalam sebutan pi. So guys, they say to solve, guys. Solve means what? May I know? Solve means find your x value. Am I right? Selesaikan maksudnya kena cari nilai x. So guys, what will be your x value over here? May I know? Uh, sebab saya nak tukar dia memenuhi persamaan ni Tak ada Okay, kamu lihat persamaan ni guys This one Lihat yang ni So, saya akan dapat Y sama dengan yang ni Am I right? Kamu pindah negatif 3 sin 3 per 2X ke sebelah kanan uh, So, kamu tengok yang ni sekarang Dan bandingkan dengan yang ni Okay, so apa kamu kena modify untuk dapat Y? First Kamu nampak perbezaan dia apa? Negatif. Am I right? Tak ada negatif kat sini. Kat bahagian ni. Ha, so negatif. Lepas tu, tambah satu. Ha, macam tu lah. Kamu modify. Boleh tak? Ha, so kalau tambah negatif satu belah, kena tambah negatif belah kanan juga. Baru dia adil. Okay, ne kalau kiri tambah negatif, kanan pun tambah negatif. Okay? Always remember guys, when you add negatif, you must add it to both sides. Don't add to one side only. Concept very simple, guys. I tell you what is the concept. I used this concept before also. Uh, what is it? Uh, your parents, when you have sibling, am I right? Brother, sister. Let's say your brother and sister, are they brother? Uh, you remember uh, the gift concept. So, guys, bila are they brother, buat bagus lah exam. Will your parent only give the gift to you? Adakah ibu bapa bagi hadiah kamu saja pada kamu? Ataupun adik-beradik juga. Adik-beradik juga kan? Sebab semua akan dapat, uh, semua bu uh, buat bagus dalam exam. So, kalau bagi kat kamu, kena bagi juga kat adik-beradik. Uh, so, same concept here lah. Left hand side tambah negatif, right hand side tambah negatif. That one you don't care lah guys. Just to remember easily. Okay? So, it must be equal. Match is always equal guys. Match is always fair. So, left hand side negative, right hand side also negative. Okay, kena adil. Okay? Alright, so now, 
they ask you to state the x. So how to state the x? Okay, so first step, you draw the straight line. Okay, so straight line, how to draw? Very simple. x equal to 0, find your y value, guys. So y value is 3. Am I right? So pintasan y is 3. And then y equal to 0, find your x. Pintasan x. Okay, so your pintasan x will be this one. Okay, you can try to find the value lah. Okay, cari nilai. If you don't want to plot this point, also can. If you find like sangat susah, never mind. Boleh pilih satu lagi titik. Okay, so let's say x equal to pi. Very simple. Okay, x sama dengan pi. Okay, you have this point. Am I right, guys? Can you see here? Pi, then you plot one point here. Ah, uh, When x equal to pi, y sama dengan apa, guys? Y is equal to negative 1. Uh, so it's very simple. Guys, remember when you draw a straight line, you only need two points to draw a straight line. Dua titik saja dah cukup untuk plot satu garis lurus. Remember that. Okay? So how to get your x values? Okay, so you have to read the point of intersection. Am I right, guys? Nilai x adalah titik persilangan. Okay, so how to read this value? It really depends on your graph lah, guys. Bergantung pada graph kamu. Okay, so over here, they get the answer 19 over 30 pi. Okay, so of course, you can do this. Kamu boleh selesaikan persamaan serentak. Am I right, guys? You solve the curve and line equation one shot. Equalize. Samakan. Okay, you solve the simultaneous equation. Okay, so you have negative 4x over pi plus 3 equal to 3 sine 3 over 2x. Yeah. So you solve for your x value lah guys. Cari nilai x saja. Okay. When you solve for your x, eh, wait ah, it is uh, minus. A minus and then plus 1. Okay. So this is your equation. So you solve for x. That's all. Then when you solve for x, you should get this answer. 19 over 30 pi. Okay guys. Do you understand? Boleh faham perbincangan hari ni? Kita dah habis. Seluruh kertas satu. Wah, exactly lah guys. Today perfect lah y'all. See the timing. 10 o'clock. Two hours perfect. We complete paper two. Paper one, eh, sorry, paper one. Paper one, dua jam kan? Two hours, right? Exact. Two hours kita habis. 10 p.m. Perfect. Fx maps onto itself means fx equal to x. Yes. Guys, when they say maps onto itself, memetakan kepada diri sendiri maksudnya fx sama dengan x. Okay, remember these guys. This one over here. Okay, when they ask you this one. Value of x when fx maps onto itself. Ah, guys, have you followed my IG and not? Saya dah...